the age old question, how to cook burgers on the grill. Hi, my name is Jerry and I love burgers. I cook burgers all the time. All my uh, friends come over, they're always wanting me to cook burgers for them. They really like the burgers, it's the best burgers I've ever had. And I've just got a few simple uh, tips or techniques uh, to, so you can have the, like the most awesome burgers. First thing is, if you go to the store and you buy the bag of hamburger buns, throw them out. They're garbage. They're just like filler. They're like, there's nothing to them. They're, they're, they're not going to do your burger any favors at all. So just get rid of those. Go down to the bakery, get some like something like potato buns or even a Kaiser. Uh, the little flat buns that are, are you know, getting really popular these days. They have so much more taste and substance than, uh, than a regular, you know, you know, super El Cheapo hamburger bun. So that's really key to start with. And I put a little bit of mayonnaise or a little bit of butter on it and I grill the, grill the, the bun just uh, the last minute or so while the burgers are cooking. So it gets a nice and crisp on the outside and it kind of waterproofs it a bit so when the, the juice from the meat and the lettuce and tomato runs through, it's not going to soak all the way through your burger. And it gives it that nice little, uh, little taste as well. Next thing is I take all my meat and my vegetables out about 20 minutes ahead of time to let them warm up. And the reason I do that is when your hamburger is cooking, it's the approximately the same temperature all the way through rather than cold in the center. So it'll cook in a nice even space or a nice even time. Um, the other thing is tomatoes. Uh, nothing worse than biting into a nice hot burger and having an ice cold tomato hit your teeth. So by doing that and slicing the tomatoes a little on the thin side, uh, it's going to be just, everything's going to be the perfect temperature when you put it in your mouth. It's just, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Next thing is I get my meat and I put it into a bowl. Sometimes I'll put an egg in it, uh, maybe a little bit of breadcrumbs hold it together, but often I'll just do the, just the meat and I'll put just a pinch of salt, not very much salt, I'll add more salt later and I'll tell you why uh, when we get towards the end. And I put a little bit of pepper, sometimes I, you know, toss you know, a little bit of hot sauce or maybe a little bit of um, oregano or something, just to give it a little bit of different flavor. And I'll do the patties, and I'll do uh, about a fist-sized patty squished down. comes to about 8 ounces, which is, you know, a good-sized burger. And for sliders, I'll do them around 3 ounces, so you can have 2 or 3 of them. And, uh, and you know, using about just a little bit more meat than a full-sized patty. And that way you can, if you're, say, if it's kids or, or somebody with a smaller appetite, then they can have those, and it'll, it'll make them happy. Next thing is the, the beef that I use, as I don't use extra lean, I try to do an 80-20 grind, so 20% fat, uh, 8% or 80% meat. And the reason for that is, uh, although it might be, you know, feel it's healthier to go extra, extra lean, it's going to give you a really dry burger, and it's the fat that really gives it the flavor. And uh, so we're going, it's kind of between a regular grind and a, and a lean grind. I often just get the butcher to grind it up for me. And uh, sometimes he use chuck steak, he use a variety of different burgers or different meat in the burgers, depends what uh, he's got available, and depends how much you, know, you want to spend on it. Um, when I do cheese, I always use regular cheese. I never use sliced cheese. Uh, I never use Cheese Whiz. I never use Velveeta. It's just it's regular cheddar, or you can use like a nice uh, Havarti with jalapenos in it or something to give it a little bit of a kick or a little Mexican flair. Um, and it just tastes really good. Cut them relatively thin so they melt fairly quickly. And... Uh, the next thing is I get my, my grill nice and warm. I don't get it too hot. I make a very small little patty and I put it on the grill. And if it's sizzling and cooking too much, then I'll turn the temperature down. Wait a minute, flip the burger over. Everything is going great. And then that little one I get to eat. And that's kind of the cook's bonus. So a uh, little, extra, little extra good stuff there. I put my burger on the grill and I do not flip it until it's brown on the edges. I want it to be basically cooked mostly on one side and then flipped over about two or three minutes on one side and like a minute on the other side. So you want to have most of the cooking done in the first part. Uh, when I do my onions and mushrooms, I do them in a frying pan. I never put them in tin foil uh, for the reason because they kind of sweat and, and they, they're just, it's kind of gooey and it's just really not all that great on a burger, I think. By doing it with a little bit of butter, the onions, I cook them slowly so they stay nice and sweet. If you cook them too fast, they get bitter. Then I take them out of the pan, I use the same pan, a bit more butter, and I put the uh, mushrooms in. And often I'll throw a couple of shots of hot sauce in there just to give them a bit of kick. And the last minute I'll put the onions back into the pan just to keep them warm and just put it on very low. Burgers are basically cooked. I've got my, uh, the just before they cooked, I put a little bit of, this is where I put the extra salt on it. If you put it on too soon when the meat is raw, it'll actually make the meat tougher. So now I season the with a little salt, a little bit of pepper, and then a little bit of barbecue sauce. I don't use a lot. And then I put my cheese on top. And at that point, I've got the buns on the grill. When I pull the buns off, the cheese has melted because it's fairly thin, even if you put a couple of layers. And uh, put it on top, put my onions, my mushrooms, whatever kind of, you know, mustard, uh, mayonnaise, ketchup, whatever you want to put on your burger. It's all right there. My thinly sliced tomatoes, my lettuce uh, cut up. So, it's, you know, just everything goes together perfectly. And mwah, you got yourself a perfect bun. The reason I do this myself is... 
I feel I can make a better burger, and I'm sure you can make a better burger than any restaurant in town. It's also about a quarter of the price. I love saving money. Uh, a lot of these you know, things that we get you know, around our house, we, we get everything online now. We get incredible savings, much better than you can get in most of the stores. And a few months ago, we found this website where we save even more, you know, up to another you know, 20, 30, 40% on things. Uh, sometimes just as little as 10%, but it's amazing how that, how that adds up. And uh, what it's done is it's given us money every month. So when we have our friends over to barbecue, guess what? It doesn't cost anything. That's really cool. If you'd like to see how we save money doing this and making the best burgers in town, click the link below or go to getfreecashback.today. That's getfreecashback.today. This is Jerry. Hopefully you're going to get your grill fired up and try that burger recipe. I'm telling you, it's a winner. Cheers. Have a great day.